Hello and welcome to the Games Dev Outpost. In this video, we'll be talking about visual shaders and albedo in Godot 3. Albedo is sometimes also known as base color, and in some legacy terms, you may hear it referred to as diffuse. With the albedo input, we can plug in anything that's data, something like a constant or a constant uniform. We can plug in a color or a color uniform. And of course, we can also plug in a texture or a texture uniform. One way to think of albedo is that it's the surface color, but it's also very important to understand that the albedo actually has a lot more influence on some of the other properties. Particularly, the metallic properties will be affected by the albedo, depending on if it is metal or if it isn't metal. So I'm gonna add a color constant, plug that back in. And right now, with the metallic value set to zero, which means that it's not metallic at all, if we adjust these colors, what you notice is none of these reflections are changed or tinted by the underlying color. Now, if this is actually full metallic, the reflection is being blended with the color. Your albedo directly influences your metallic or your specular color. The roughness that I have plugged in here, it's just for example purposes to see things a little clearer. Now, the things to note about textures when you plug them into the albedo, when you import them, you wanna make sure that you have sRGB enabled. Another thing is in your texture node, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that the data type is set to color and not data, unless that's what you're looking for. This will give you your appropriate color range. All right, guys, this should cover visual shaders and albedo in Godot 3. If you thought this video was useful and it helped, please let me know by commenting down below and liking the video. Thanks, guys.